think so. One day I just, I may have been a, just slightly, slightly elevated. Um, so I just started making these videos. And the very first Skittles McGee video is me wearing these like cheap plastic shades. And they're the ones that have like the little lines that look like those 80s bad guy villains. Uh, people love Skittles. And I, I'm going to get into that. This is going to be the Skittles origin story. I don't think we've ever told the story. So I, I had those glasses on and I decided it was about the time Kanye was wearing those and did something. I was like, I just did a video in that act and I'm like, I'm Kanye with. And no one cared. No one gave a shit. And I made a couple more videos of Skittles and just doing various different things and different little outfits and tweets. That, holy shit. Coral even. Holy crap. Thank you, Littles. Now, I did see that one pop up. Now, that was cool. I don't know how I saw that one. That was amazing. Thank you. Um, but yeah, for days and days and probably even weeks, no one cared about this little character I was doing. And then uh, I have this friend named Tiffany. She lives out in Florida. She offered to make me the, what I call or, or Skittles calls. Hey, Liz, you're your perfect time again. Well, shout outs to little sisters, Littles. Littles, little sister. Hashtag shout outs. Uh, but yeah, I had a friend named Tiffany and, and she was making these, what I call or Skittles calls, little ass hats. And uh, they're just little, they're little ass hats. I don't know why else to, to, <laughs> to describe them. Um, and we just smashed the, the goal and we weren't even really trying to hit it right now. Shout out to Texas Little and Little Sister for smashing that goal already for uh, the, the, the quick goal that we just put up there. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. I love to see that. Hey, Missy, we're getting we're getting a party going. I'm just telling the origin story of Skittles McGee. But yeah, no no one cared about the Skittles McGee videos for a few days. But my friend makes makes these little hats, and I decided like I should just get silly with this character now, okay? Because I was heavily inspired by Men on Film from In Living Color, Blaine Edwards and Antoine Merriweather. And if you watch Men on Film or any other, Ashley Brooke in the house. If you watch any of those In Living Colors where they have the Men on Film, Men on Books, Men on Football, Men on So and So you will quickly understand how much inspiration for Skittles McGee comes from those two characters. Um, also, Fabrice Fabrice, who is a, a Nick Kroll character, is a heavy, heavy inspiration on that as well. And there's some stuff along the way. But uh, I don't remember exactly which video it was, but I finally posted a video of Skittles McGee, and it just started kind of taking off. So uh, when, once I started calling people heifers and talking like this, it just seemed to get a lot more attention. And I think having that little ass hat, and then I would put what I call a beer bold, and it's just like a little, a little like clip on little bow tie kind of thing. But I would just put it on my beard just like this and stuff. And then I had these outrageous glasses that I would wear too with it. And Skittles, like I told people, Skittles is like probably the truest form of me. I have to kind of censor myself in real life for a lot of reasons. But Skittles, if you could just completely rip the filter off and get a 100% unadulterated version of me, it's Skittles McGee every time. Because Skittles don't give a shit. Skittles bust in the room like Holly Berry Hallelujah and just wish a motherfucker would. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, Skittles Skittles is definitely um, almost like an underground favorite. Not not everybody knows about Skittles. And I, I've almost purposely, I've, I've given some some hints and glimmers and glimpses and, and everything else of, of Skittles to TikTok and maybe Instagram. But like it was kind of a Vine exclusive. But as Liz is in here now, and I was telling Liz earlier, because uh, there have been several people, including Ashley Brooke, we saw Macho Danny Savage talking about, like, there's people that truly love the Skittles character. And I don't know if I'll bring the Skittles character back in full form anytime soon. We'll see. But uh, like I was telling Liz, the fact that I've noticed that Skittles is more just instantly coming out more, that makes me happy. Because usually when Skittles comes out, that's at a time in my life where like I'm, I'm feeling like things are going right. I'm in a really good mood. I'm happy. The depression isn't hitting like it normally is. And yeah. Your boy fights depression on the daily, so you're not alone if you're out there. Uh, so, so yeah, when you hear and see Skittles, that's usually like almost like pure joy for me. So, like last night we were we were in here with Jesse Smiles, who is a longtime friend of mine from Vine. If you don't know who Jesse Smiles is, and it's J A or excuse me J E S S I Smiles, like you normally would spell, Google Jesse Smiles and listen to some of her. Get on on like some of the, the uh, audio platforms out there. Give Jesse Smiles a lesson. But like y'all saw me last night, some of y'all. And I was just in and out as a Skittles character and giggling. And y'all, I have had more fun on here in the past week than I have had, honestly, in years. I, I, I 